Hello, I'm Sherry. Welcome back to Finish It Friday. I am back in the swing of things and we're going to share some uh, uh, makes that you completed this past week or in the past. Doesn't matter. Uh, it's very um, nice to see that everyone is staying busy with their quilting and getting things done. I uh, have on the board here for you some of the red and white blocks that I worked on while I was gone. Uh, on my trip out west and as you can see they are kind of crazy but I think it's going to make a nice quilt in the end. Uh, we'll be putting some white sashing in and a little red block here uh, at the corners there on the, on the strips going across and up and down. Uh, I still have a lot of um, red and white fabrics that I have to cut up and include in this quilt so I'm trying to mix all of the fabrics together evenly as I can but uh, we'll just see how it turns out in the end I think it's it's probably going to be a a nice surprise when we get it all done I thought I had eight blocks done but evidently I only have seven unless one has not turned up yet that I haven't unpacked or something but I am fresh off the road from the uh, Soya quilting uh, over the Hedge Garden Retreat, English Garden Retreat, and we'll be sharing uh, some more of that with you next week. Uh, I don't know that I'll have a separate video for it, but I might. If not, I will have much to talk about with you on Monday about it. And so let's just go ahead and get right on into your makes for this week. And we have several, and I appreciate everyone uh, sending in your projects and uh, also following the guidelines that I set out for you in the description box. Um, the first one I have is from Dolores and as we know she does charity quilts for children and uh, this particular one is soccer themed and you can see in the green squares there we have soccer players and then the opposite white and black and multicolored blocks are soccer balls. So this is a nice um, soccer themed uh, boy quilt I would say, although girls play soccer too. So either way, and she put a nice bright red backing on the back. Great job Dolores, as usual. And then Carol, our friend who does the sun painting and hand painting fabrics, she has a new quilt here out of those fabrics. And uh, we've seen her do this style before, but it's that juicy, uh, bright colors from the sun dyed. And then she also did something a little different for the backing. And I'll just read what she has here. She said, this quilt was made only with my hand painted, sun painted and stenciled fabrics. It's a large queen, 90 by 99. I quilted it in an all over free motion swirl pattern on my sit down long iron machine. The back of the quilt is a circle print that was another duvet that I no longer use. Great use for some items, uh, household items that uh, will work for quilt backings. You can use uh, flat sheets, you can use du older uh, duvet covers that you're finished with and uh, works great for a backing. She says, I added a row of drunkard path blocks across the top of the back because I didn't have enough fabric. It worked out great because when the quilt is turned down on the bed, it looks nice. Yeah, your your front pattern, once you turn that over, is, is on, the, on the bed there where you can see it. Uh, I have to say again that this Drunkard's Path quilt block is the easiest and fastest quilt block I've ever made. And she says, uh, I'm sorry that I waited so long to try this block because I thought curves would be hard. They are not. So thanks Carol for that encouragement. I need to get on the ball and start doing more curved quilting. Maybe some of the rest of you out there uh, could uh, join with me on that too and, and encourage one another to just strike out and do it. Don't be scared. Here's another one from Dee Dee. Uh, this is a uh, one of the little keychains that uh, I demonstrated in uh, some of my videos. The key fob holder there. It says she took she took my advice for a scrap project, ordered some hardware, knowing I would, and just finished this. So um, 
I'm sure there was more than just one piece of hardware in there. So, Dee Dee, you're going to be making many more of those. And yours turned out great in the little blue and white star pattern fabric there. Good job. Dee Dee is also uh, working on her studio. She has a uh, garage area of her house that she has converted into a sewing studio. And it looks really nice. She sent me pictures, but we won't be sharing those today. Uh, know me? Uh, now, I know that her name is spelled N-O-E-M-I, which in Spanish is Noemi, but her uh, Instagram is called Know Me Sews, and that is K-N-O-W underscore M-E underscore S-E-W-S. So go check her out on Instagram, Know Me Sews. Uh, she sent something in to us, a, a quilt in a, a bright pink and blue and a little bit of a yellow pattern here. And let me tell you what she says about it. Here is a 38 by 40 quilt that I just finished on March 5th for a virtual competition deadline. This is only my second completed quilt. First one was a jelly roll race quilt and has been claimed by her dog, but this one will be gifted to a great niece. Charm Pack is the Cottage Mama uh, Petty Treat line. Solid pink and white tone on tone Joanne and Michael's store fat quarters. Minky backing, printed hot pink and teal border and satin binding acquired from a seamstress that had an estate sale because she gave up sewing due to medical reasons. Yes, keep your eyes open for yard sales and estate sales where uh, a former sewer has lived and you'll find some cool stuff and you can use it in your current projects. She says half square triangle cornerstones had to be rectangular because of shortage of hot pink fabric. That's okay. Happens all the time. And then the ombre outer border is from Soya Quilting. Blue and teals selected to try to match subtle hints of those colors in the charm pack. And the uh, she's calling this, um, the quilting pattern is So Simple Pineapple by Karen Hellaby. Straight Stitch Wonky Quilting was guided by a book I found at a state sale as well called A Treasury of Quilting Designs by Linda Goodman Emery. So, wow, you just got all the stats on there. That helps us out a lot in case we want to duplicate. And I love how your Mickey backing turned out, as well as the uh, ombre border really did uh, set off the entire quilt. Good choice. Great choice like that. And then Victoria sent us a couple of blocks that she has made and uh, we see the star there with the red center and she's also used some um, floral and butterfly patterns as well as a dark red and all with a uh, white on white background. Um, these she said are from the uh, Barn Star Quilt Along. That's that book I'm looking for, uh, Barn Star. She said, these are huge blocks, 24 inches each. They are with the Barn Star QAL. The first three blocks are 24 inches and are supposed to make two each. Then they get smaller as it goes along, which should be helpful for me. Yeah, get those big ones out of the way and then work on the smaller ones. Can't wait to see what your final uh, quilt top will look like, Victoria. I would love to see it. Send it in to us when you're finished with the quilt along. And then we also have one from Deb. She has several here, actually. She says the animal lap quilt, which is a three yard pattern, has the alphabet as the quilted pattern and is backed with flannel. And then the table runner was made reversible. So we have a quilt with the animals, that one there with the gold uh, pinwheels and the green border. I see some alligators in there and lions among other animals, cute. And then the table runner is the um, red, white, and blue with the green and floral borders. Uh, that's just like a small patchwork. And then the other side are pinwheels in the same fabric. So a reversible uh, table runner. Very nice job. 
love all of your projects and they look like they are all well made and uh, I love the stars that are uh, put inside of the white blocks on that table runner nice job gives a little personal touch to it so these are all really great you guys and I am going to continue to work on this as well as other projects I have some projects that I have finished and some that I haven't finished from the retreat that I'll be showing you very soon and talking about the details of the retreat as well as uh, most of you are probably anxious to hear about our trip went pretty well uh, the trip out was a little eventful. The trip back was not too bad, although the roads in the Southwest could use some work. <laughs> so all of you down in the Southwest states, um, maybe talk to your highway departments and get them to do a little patchwork on those. <laughs> patchwork? <laughs> do a little quilting on their roads. How about that? <laughs> all right, but we made it home safely and we're... Um, refreshed and as I said earlier ready to get on with uh, the normal things that we do from day to day that we love and that includes you and the finish it Friday videos and the other videos that will be coming along I'll have to get back to my um, series on the uh, kaleidoscope stack and white quilt I'll be going forward on that as well as many other things all right have a great weekend and we'll see you soon on Monday quilt chat. Bye.